<laughs> that is well small. <laughs> nice. Get to the chopper. Wow, I got a whole split there. God damn. Oh my good god. Yo, what is going on from Ho Chi Minh City, also known as Saigon, the old capital of Vietnam where I've just arrived maybe a couple hours ago. I did actually have loads of sick plans here where I was going to be renting a moped as per usual and going around having like two full busy days but I've just found out that the police here are just anti-tourists and they'll try and do whatever they can to find you, take the bike off you and I don't want to be dealing with that and the place I was going to go tomorrow, which still I'm going to be going, it's like about an hour, an hour and a half and you may come across four different sets of police and they'll fine you 20 to 40 pound every single one and then on top of that even going around a city here even though this city is absolutely wild i really want to go and experience on a mountain bike and i'm just not gonna be able to i'm just making the smart decision because i'm not trying to rack up loads of hefty fines so i have had to filter down a bit of the plans but nevertheless i'm still gonna have it large still gonna have a good few days here so i'm currently now i'm filming I'm starting to film this at half past eight and i go into the crazy walking street which is actually really wild i did drive past it earlier it does look pretty nuts but i'm i'm approaching it i'm staying really close so yeah let's let's catch me there and let's get into it so we have arrived Bu Vien walking street <laughs> don't correct me on that because it probably is wrong and i'm told it's like Koh San Road, Bengala Road in Phuket from Thailand, but a bit more crazy. I'm not exactly sure. This is my first time walking down it. And I mean, there's a lot going on here right now, but it still is, it's super early. So my catamaran is going to be as crazy as what it should be at the night time. Maybe I'll come back a bit later. One of the locals from where I'm staying did actually offer me to go out with some locals tonight. I don't feel like drinking to be perfectly honest with you. Everything, I'll just drink my night away. 
Now I'm guessing that was like the main drinks area and then at the top of the end, that's obviously where it just was there. I'm guessing this is like the food. <laughs> Hello, the food area. But all I want is some chicken because I was eating. <laughs> but we're trying to see. Hello. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it seems way more tame up this end. I need to find a cash point as well. I literally have no cash. Like my wallet is literally completely empty. I'm broke. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna try and find a cash point and then try and find some food. So I've got cash. It took me a while, but I've got some cash. And whilst currently, I am actually getting bombarded left, right and centre for do you want a massage? How do you decide, for the people, leave a comment down below, do you get a man to do it? Or is you get a woman to do it? I'm not gonna do it at all because it's not, I don't know, I think that's a waste of time for us. They're gonna be anything worse, but a lot of people do enjoy it. So, would you get a man to get the massage or a woman? Leave a comment down below. Right, this is some of the roads we're working with. What's that? <laughs> Everyone loves to beep at each other as well. We got a green light or not? Are we going? We're going, we're making it, we're making it, we're gonna do it. <laughs> it's so bad here. Oh no. Come on. Oh, we're good, we're good. We got a little window. <laughs> right. I just walked somewhere trying to find some food and the like, restaurant is it's no longer there. So Google Maps has stung me, so I'm finding the next place. Right, I'm here. Just quickly look at this. They have black boots. One hell of a selection of food on here. Look at that. Gravy and best potato. <laughs> Spaghetti bolognese with chicken. <laughs> Interesting. Now I'm sure no one wants to eat food because no one wants to eat food. That's weird. But in these chicken places, right, they give you gloves, gloves to eat your chicken with. I mean, it's, it's a brilliant idea, but so weird to me. Yeah, I'm gonna scram this. Day two is early as hell right now. We're sitting at eight o'clock. And last night, I literally managed somehow to get, oh, hang on a minute, what's this telling me now? There you go. Four hours sleep. Nice. <laughs> I don't feel that bad, to be fair. I don't know how I don't feel that bad. Today, I'm going to a place called Coochie Tunnels, which is where, like, back in the war, well, I don't know the full ins and outs, that, that they used to hide, I don't know. It's, it's a cool little place to go. But it's an hour and 45 minutes away from the city, so it's gonna be a long ass bus ride. So I'm probably gonna try and sleep in the bus. Obviously, it's absolutely carnage here already. The weather looks okay. It's still hot as hell, so I'm not complaining. And then for the rest of the day, we'll be like doing little bits and bobs around the city. Should be back around 2 or 3 p.m. to do the tour. So kind of just get a moped. It's 12 pounds for the day. So uh, yeah, catch me there. I'm gonna try my little nap. So I've arrived. I did actually sleep on the bus. <laughs> They made a stop halfway through to go and buy something on the way. And I woke up and there was like no one on the bus, just me. And I was like, yo. But we're here now. Here's some of the bombs. And there's some of the guns. He, he was, the tour guy was explaining how uh, this was, it was built in like 1949. And it was when there was like a civil war and they were hiding away when things were getting bombed. You're gonna go in the actual shelters and that. And they were trying to show you how they survived, which is pretty cool. But, um, yeah, I never do. This is the first tour guide I've done. I've been out here six weeks, so it's not really one thing. I just hit, jump on a moped, ride somewhere, go at my own pace, and then move on. So I don't know how this is going to go, but we'll see. So yeah, we're nearly getting, we're just going to get the tickets now, and off we go. Everyone look the black line here. There's a tunnel system. There's a tunnel there in 1948. Doesn't even focus. So the geezer just said that he actually was in the war, and this is how it used to be. So this was like, Four meters, this was six meters or eight meters, this was like ten meters on the ground. And you could you could escape down through the river. Which is actually a madness to be fair. But yeah, he literally said he was in the war when he was 18 years old and he's now like 77 or something. So he was like, if you get a young tour guide, you're only gonna hear one side of the story where he at, was he was in the war, he was fighting this war for eight years. So he was like, You're very lucky, you've got the right guy. So yeah, sweet. <laughs> Don't want to fall down there, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is simple. In the war time, that's bad. They don't have to go. over there. 
there was um, where a bomb had fallen when the, the German come, if someone they scare and they step there if they <laughs> you're back on some way <coughs> that's tiny stuck on the this way but take a lot of time 35 years like that Hands up, like that, straight your arm. Don't come back. <laughs> okay, you say we can go inside. We can try to go inside. <laughs> and that takes you to Cambodia. But the thing is, it is designed in a way that you feel no one who what you uh to do. So come the that's the entrance of the tunnel. Oh my god. Forty centimeters by fifty centimeters. I don't think my dog could even fit through there. Oh, but I can't go down there. Ah, uh, chill looking. <laughs> don't go inside. Oh my God. If you go inside, you cannot come back. <laughs> you know why? I ain't going in there. So why? hot right now. Because they have not I enough to eat. The they want one. to remind the American, they will stay there. We don't go nowhere. They want to remind them, but they cannot fight too long. They don't so fight small. too long because they have no evidence. So animation. small. It's actually insane. Everyone come to look how they survive. Then, as the tunnel goes that way, the tunnel goes that way. I feel like it's going to rain as well, but yeah, so far so good. I've always just found out as well, you can shoot a gun, so I'm shooting a gun today. So someone just asked the question, what happens when it rains? So obviously there's loads of rain here, they don't all drown in the tunnel. So I know they dug loads of water holes, so all the water would flood out. The Americans came and seen these holes. Americans, they think they They would pump water in there. They want to connect with the tunnel. They would pump water in there trying to flush them all out. And it'd go to the so that's a big ass hole there. Obviously, I was explaining how all the other holes are really small. So I imagine that the Americans would have tried to go down there, but obviously it doesn't go anywhere at all. It's just a drainage place, which is pretty mad. Don't know what he's doing. In there. But yeah, let's see how we get on. American tank. Lovely. Size of that trunk. <laughs> Welcome you to the book big trap. You in the real house and in the wall town. We have a trap in the well. Booby trap. Right, the guy speaks really, really slow and really quietly. But this one, you stand on it and you get attacked from all angles in your foot. This one was, you would stand and it would get your armpits, so it would move as you'd go. That one with the uh, shoulders or whatnot. It's all just a bunch of contraptions to do you over, basically. So. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this one they call the door trap. The door trap, they put inside well. the house. And they hang out the back the door. When the German can come, someone they try to go inside the house, but they never open the door by hand. They always kick the door by weapon, and 50 When they kick the door and door open, the trap they come out of that. Trap they have two pockets. You have can quickly protect your first one, but second pocket they hit to their bottom. They make the GI American no more fun and no more baby. There you go. This so guy, he if you attack, a, attack a door, you get done over by that. <laughs> Now we're seeing a military workshop where they would make the bamboo traps. I don't really understand why it's on the ground, to be honest. You just do it on the land. Ow. Go on, girl, work it. <laughs> sort of what it seems, to be honest. There's a picture out there. At least it's nice and cool in this little spot. It's freaking roasting outside. Lots of big ass bombs. Oh, they all move as well. Oh, go on, boy. Oh, <laughs> One of 
That's for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> now for the big moment. <laughs> I've only ever shot a shotgun. When I don't claim pigeon shooting, I don't think that really counts. This is six. So you can shoot four different guns. Oh, that's so loud. But I really want to shoot an M16. So sick. Right, <laughs> Wow, what is so loud? Oh. <laughs> Look Oh. <laughs> that was sick. Buzzing. I don't know how wild a camera can pick that up, but that was sick. So sick. I was on my I'm left I'm a lefty. So that was I had shot I shot the wrong eye, but that was still sick. So sick. I think that was like uh maybe like 15 quid. So, in the grand scheme of things, it's not even that bad. You would not want to fall down there. <laughs> That's so deep. Boss man's digging it out with a bit of bamboo as well. <laughs> when they would dig all the tunnels as well, they'd use that, just a small little basket, just to spoon it all out. Which is wild. And boss man has just said that we can go in the tunnels they've made them slightly bigger for tourists so it used to say they've made like twice the size it's still obviously pretty small and you can go down to the second layer of tunnels which is six meters below the ground and the deepest one was like eight or ten meters so i'm gonna go on the ground <laughs> right here we go then the fighting bunker right i'm gonna come out all over there <laughs> it's done it so great oh my good god <clears throat> <laughs> so obviously back in the day there was no there was no electricity down here, they didn't have any lights. <laughs> it was just an oil lamp. And he, was, he was explaining how um when the people come out after the war, they couldn't see they were blind because they spend twenty four hours well, twenty hours a day in the pitch black. So as soon as you come out to the sunlight, your eyes are cooked. Well, that is well small. <laughs> nice. Safe to say, 
I don't reckon I'd last that long <laughs> if I was down here back in the day. I think I'm gonna get shot. God damn, it's daylight. Right, I'm gonna know if it's the end at all now, which is great because it's so freaking hot and we're quarter to one, so. This is a kitchen and it'll build up like an exhaust tunnel, funnel, whatever you want to call it, so the smoke could be miles away. Obviously, that's only a small example, but in the grand scheme of it, it'd be miles away. So when I just know where they were cooking food, and they only cook once a day. And I give you the option now to try the food that they were eat, that they were eating, which doesn't look all that great. It's wherever that is. <laughs> nice. Okay, so I tried the food and it was absolutely gross. <laughs> he said that was all they would eat for eight years. Such a long time. And they give you some tea in it. I didn't even like tea, it was horrible, but I drank the tea that washed down the nasty taste of the other thing. But yeah, I think that's it now, so catch me doing something crazy in the city. Right, next up, we got the war museum. This has just arrived now. Managed to get dropped off from the tour with people, which is obviously convenient. There's a little bit going on. It's also, I feel like it's about to rain. And obviously this is inside, so tactical thinking. There's not, there's not an awful lot of like fun, adventurous things to do here, although those Ho Chi Minh, Ho Chi Minh, those coochie tunnels were actually sick. Hello, just one, please. <laughs> so one entry is about a pound. Lovely, thank you. Now I'm no plane enthusiast, but it is pretty cool to see the part of history. It's nice that they're still in a good nick. Get to the chopper. <laughs> it says there, Tiger Caves. It also is trying to rain as well, which sucks. I'm not really sure what Tiger Caves really means. What's in there? Hello? Oh, special cells in a jail. This can't be it, surely. Hello? It's a guillotine, isn't it? It is a guillotine. Put my head in there now. Is the tiger cage. That looks rough. Imagine being in there. And it's tiny. There's a slightly bigger one there. And then you've got here, there's a little cell. Tiny little thing. Not sure what's up here. Some steep ass stairs. Ah, my toe. Oh. oh, you can see from above. That's so strange. Why would, oh, that's, ah, I see. That's how they would see it from back in the day. You stand on top. Oh, that does not feel very safe. Oh my god. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't jump on the roof. Madness. It's a tank. I don't really know what to say about this, to be honest. I mean, it's cool. Every man loves a tank. Do you know what I'm saying? But, how's that? No climbing. Why not? Make a sick, imagine just sitting up there, be a sick picture. Bulldozer. 40 tons. Flipping heck. It must be well heavy. It's like a giant tractor. <laughs> Lovely. It is really trying to rain. I need to get inside. <laughs> and anything else is up here that's kind of cool? Yeah. Just out of a tank. Nice. Right, catch me inside. Actually, one more thing. <laughs> it's well noisy. So that bell is made from a bomb. It's sick. Now I'll put my hands up. My history skills are terrible, but read that. Obviously lighting here is terrible, so I've not really made any videos in here, but <clears throat> it's just a museum, but it's crazy. It's pretty sad to be honest. This is I don't really know the ins and outs and why it happened, but tomorrow I have a long long day travelling, so I'm gonna research and watch videos but yeah there's not much I can really film in here because it's a lot of reading and you can't really watch that on a video so yeah catch me outside so I'm passing up school yeah instead of everyone waiting in their car so they get pick the kids up from school everyone just waits on their mopeds <laughs> so different here it's insane but um, I was if if you are coming in here have time is also the independence palace but it's just closed so I can't go there <laughs> I'm going to a place called Book Street. I don't think it's really that special, but apparently it's cool. So it's so like a 10 minute walk. Wish I had the moped because I'd just ride there, it's so much easier. I'm sucking it up, using the ones and twos. And it's so hot right now. 
and it is trying to rain, so hopefully they don't get wet. Now, me up, but just, just so we're on the same page, I do not read any books, and it is really not my cup of tea. So I probably am not even going to like this, to be perfectly honest. It is just like a road with loads of bookshops. I'm not really sure why people were banging on about it. I mean, if you like books, then hell yeah, come on down. You've got every book you could ever possibly imagine, I imagine. <laughs> well, it's an experience. <laughs> oh, God. I thought it'd be like a bit more hustle and bustle, do you know what I'm saying? Right, well, there's literally barely anyone here. It is raining, so I'm gonna get to the next place. So, we're gonna call this the final stop of the day, I reckon. Ben Nicky uh, Street Food. I'm not even sure that's how you say it. I'm guessing it is. There's a lot of things going on here. No idea what I'm gonna get because I don't even know what I want, to be honest. So, I'll have a little wander around. See anything too crazy? We'll have a look. But I'm not sure if we will, to be perfectly honest, but at least I'm getting out of the rain as well, which is ideal. Hello. It's nothing like a, um, a Thai place, that's for sure. There's a lot going on. Hello. Quite looks good. Quite ostrich meat. Oh. Man, I got a whole squid there. God damn. There is a lot going on. It's quite a big place as well. But yeah, if I see anything else, catch me there. If not, we'll see what happens. Right, so as probably guessed, I did get a whole chicken, some rice, and some salad. It cost four quid. You know what? It's probably the most expensive thing I've had since being here. But on that note, because I've decided I'm going to get drunk tonight, because like, since being out here for like five, six weeks now, I've only got drunk twice. I've not got drunk at all in Vietnam. So I'm gonna. this is my final night here in Vietnam. Tomorrow I go to Cambodia. So on that note, I'm going to go get drunk tonight. I'm going to have a fun. I'm not going to film it because I don't want to see me get drunk. But I'm going to go and experience another life here. But if you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I'll catch you on the next one. See you in Cambodia.